I also have to point out this this is untenable for the UK and Australia to use democracy and human rights as excuses to interfere in Hong Kong affairs. During the British colonial rule over Hong Kong, governors at that time were chosen and appointed in London by the British government. When ratifying the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights in 1976, the British government made a reservation not to apply to Hong Kong the periodical elections provisions. Both the Public Order Ordinance and the Society's Ordinance during the British colonial rule imposed restrictions on assembly, procession, and association in Hong Kong. The UK cited the Sino-British Joint Declaration, but under this joint declaration, the UK is not entitled to any right of supervision over Hong Kong after its return to China. It has no right to interfere in Hong Kong affairs and China's internal affairs under the pretext of this joint declaration. Australia is also facing serious issues concerning the rights of refugees, immigrants, and aboriginals. The UK and Australia, therefore, are in no position and have no moral or legal basis to level criticism on Hong Kong affairs. At a recent session of the UN Human Rights Council, over, 60, uh, over 70 countries upholding fairness and justice voiced their support for China on issues relating to Hong Kong. We urge a handful of, of countries, including the UK and Australia, to stop playing double standards and interfering in China's internal affairs. Should they insist on going down the wrong path, China will make firm, legitimate, and necessary reactions.